Hey everyone, it's Mike from driveaday.com, and today I'm going to talk about how to use Body Movin', which is a plugin for After Effects, to create JSON files, which are utilized in apps or websites to do animations with uh, without the use of an MP4 or MOV file or WebMV, WebM file or something like that to uh, to make an animation. So this is a sample of something I just put together right now, and I'm going to show you how I do it. Now this is just code. And the code you can see is right here. This is the JSON or JSON file. And um, this will show you, do this. Uh, this is what it pumps out. And this is how this works in After Effects. So if you are working in After Effects, what you want to do is import a file. So I created these in Illustrator. I saved it as just arrows. And then I imported that into After Effects. So let's see, I'll get rid of this, delete. And uh, so here's the Illustrator file. So I drag this into a new comp. You uh, have to turn these objects into shapes because then it's not linking to a folder that's calling out the assets. So what you want to do is just left click on it, hit create, and create vector shapes. So now this is all the bounding boxes around the, the objects. I can, you know, I can change this if I wanted to, but this is exactly how I want it to look. Uh, one thing I want to change is just like where the center point is. Let me do that yeah so there's the center point and um, I'll delete this I'll do a quick animation that I'll, uh, I'll scale it and I'll rotate it so I'll scale it up to about 120 and then down to 100 and I'll go to the beginning make this zero and then I'll have it do like this rotation where it rotates once now this is four seconds so I'm going to take this hold down option and drag this to the left cap this off by hitting N and I'm gonna render it to see what happens. So there's the animation. So let's say that this is gonna be used on a website where this is an icon that all you want to do is just have a subtle anim in, in, a subtle animation where it comes in, right? So let me give this a little bit of a, here we go, a little bit of a graph and drag this down a little bit more. So let's say that you have a, on your website, you have an icon that you just want to introduce where let's say it's someone scrolling down, someone scrolling down the web page, and you have three icons across that are representing what you're talking about. This is a great way that you can have this just kind of do this little effect. And then you'd have to make sure that the object itself, I'd say in this case, it, it wouldn't have to be all that space. So you want to just make sure, I don't think you need an icons 300 by 300, most likely be 50 by 50, but I'm just doing this so you can see it. So the way you export this is you download the body move and plugin, which uh, if you, I'm not going to show you how to do that. That's a whole other thing. You can probably just Google that. I don't really want to waste my time doing that. So I have that plugin and I go to extensions, body move in. And in here, I've got these options. So if I click on, uh, so I'll select this. Now if I had about, 10 different comps in here you have to select all of them individually and then the setting uh, I usually just keep it there's nothing that's selected uh, but I will do in this case I'll do a demo that'll show you the HTML file that it will create so I'll hit save and then I will choose a destination so I did already do this so I'm just gonna go in here and delete these empty trash go back here so it's gonna create uh, and you want to make sure you name it so it's arrow JSON Hit save and just hit render. And there you go. It'll say that it's done. I hit done. Now if I go to my folder, there is the file. And if I drag it into a text document. Now this is the code that I'll give to a programmer and they will have to figure out what to do with this. I don't know what to do with this. This is again, I'm coming from the animation side, but I've worked with a company that has taken this and somehow they put it into a div or whatever that would be called in an app where they can target this with their code. Now, I don't believe that this code can talk back to the the interface itself. It doesn't hold data that I understand. It's just, uh, a, an, it's just like a self-contained video that's playing from zero to, you know, whatever seconds. You know, in this case, it's two seconds, right? I'd probably end it here saying give this animation to the programmer because then they can target this to pause it and they can also target this now to go in reverse if they're doing icons and then the uh if i do the demo it'll just be here now, this is just code so if you look at it this is the code that it is that it's using
it's not an MOV file. It's just, this is just code you're given to a, a programmer and that's it. So if you are creating apps or if you have a website and you need things like this, you can contact me at mike at drive80.com. And if not, then that's just how you use the body moving plugin. Hopefully that was helpful.